yeah we are ready with the process database with the relevant tables and also data sets now let's go to the details about how to get data from the files into the database tables using pandas first let's review the database tables and then we'll take it further in the database car sales db there are two important tables the tables are nothing but toyota sales data and the sales reps data let's also review the files the files are in data folder uh, in data we have car underscore sales in car underscore sales there are two tables sales reps data and toyota sales data we wanted to load the data from these two csv files into the respective tables here the data from uh, sales reps data should go into sales reps data table the data from toyota sales data should go to toyota sales data table let me confirm the table name for the toyota sales it is nothing but toyota sales data typically table names uh, shouldn't have data at the end but that is fine it is just a demo hence we are good to go now let me create a new notebook the notebook is nothing but export or load csv into database table dot ipnb i'll be using pandas for this so here let me choose the kernel the kernel is nothing but this one now first i have to start with import pandas as pd let me run this i'll be demonstrating using sales reps data you can take toyota sales data as exercise and you can attempt to load data from this csv file into the database table now as pandas is imported as pd i have to say sales reps df equal to pd dot read underscore csv then the path the path is nothing but data then car underscore sales then the csv file name which is nothing but sales reps data dot csv let me say sales underscore reps underscore data dot csv now we should be able to run this it should create a data frame you can check the data frame by saying sales reps data dot head you can see the data here we are just seeing first five records we can also say sales underscore reps underscore df dot shape this have 22 records with eight columns now to write to database you can use something called as two underscore sql which is available on top of data frame keep in mind read underscore sql is available as part of pandas or pd which is alias for pandas when it comes to two underscore sql which can be used to write to target a database table it is available on top of data frame itself you can get the help by saying help then sales underscore reps underscore df dot two underscore sql let me run this then let me click on this to go to complete documentation here the first argument is nothing but table to which you wanted to write the data to the second argument is nothing but connection string in case if schema is available you can specify the schema based on your situation if the table exists if you just wanted to append to the table you can say if underscore exists equal to append if you wanted to replace you have to say if underscore exists equal to replace in case if the table exists if you want to fail you can say if underscore exists equal to fail then if you don't want the data frame index to write to target table you have to say index equal to false then everything will work as per the expectations there are other important arguments also but whatever arguments i have covered so far are good enough to take care of loading the data from sales reps csv into the respective table now let me go here let me say sales reps df then two underscore sql the first argument is nothing but table name the table name is nothing but sales underscore reps underscore data make sure to specify the table name as first argument then the second argument is nothing but connection string uh, when it comes to connection string you have to start with the postgres sql plus pg8000 then you have to specify colon slash slash then the username colon password at the rate the database ip or alias which is nothing but local host in our case then colon then database port then forward slash then database name which is nothing but car underscore sales underscore db on top of these two we have to consider other important arguments as well what are those other important arguments now in this case let's check the default behavior the default behavior is fail so if the table exists it will fail if i run it it will fail you can attempt 
running this you see it have failed what is the error it says table sales reps data already exists now yeah that table like this if you don't want it to fail you have to decide whether you want to replace the table or append the table in this case i'll be using append so here i can say if underscore exists then equal to then append so the value for the argument should be string you can specify the keyword argument like this you have to have equal between the keyword argument and the corresponding value then let's also see other arguments the other argument which you should consider is nothing but index uh, by default it is true it will try to write data frame index as a column if there is no column for data frame index it will fail so in this case if i look at sales reps df you can see it have data frame index 0 1 2 3 4 right so here let's try running this and see what happens see it have failed however if you look at the details here it is not obvious why it is failing uh, to actually get the details about why it is failing uh, it is better to improvise our code adding exceptions you can see i have come up with a code where i have added exceptions i am using try and accept here before try and accept first i am importing create engine and sql alchemy error from sql alchemy and sql alchemy.exe respectively then i am creating engine object using create engine function from sql alchemy with same connection string then as part of try i am establishing connection to the database and then i am attempting to write data from the data frame into the table now let me run this actually i have already ran this you can see when it comes to the actual insert statement it is something like this insert into sales reps data then index and all but our table doesn't have index that's why it is failing so coming up with code like this will actually give us details why it is failing now to make sure it work let me change the index to false it is true by default now i am changing it to false now let me run this and see what is going on again it failed the reason why it is failing is because when it comes to high date it is of type date but we are passing string here as they are not aligned it is failing uh, let me go to postgres database here let me close this let me right click on sales reps data table and then let me go to properties as part of the properties you can go to columns when it comes to high date it is of type date however when it comes to our data frame which is nothing but sales reps data the high date is of type uh, string let me copy this now let me paste here let me say dot d types let me run this it is saying object but internally the values are not aligned with the valid date type in the database here we have to convert high date to date and then we should be good to go here to address this issue we just have to transform the data type of high date to date and then we should be able to load without any issues now let me say sales underscore reps underscore df then high date then equal to when it comes to pandas it have a function called as two underscore date time now let me say sales underscore reps underscore df then high date once we specify the data frame with call name like this we can specify the second argument for this function called as two underscore date time the second argument is nothing but format so let me say format equal to when it comes to the dates in our data it have the month then forward slash then date within the month then forward slash then year in two digits hence we have to specify the format like this the first one is month hence percentage m then the second one is nothing but day within the month which is nothing but percentage d then percentage y for two digit year if it is four digit year i think we have to say percentage capital y then on top of pd dot two date time we have to use dot dt which is nothing but attribute then date first let's copy this let's paste here and then run let's see what it written you can see it have returned the valid dates in postgres hence it should work without any issues now we should be able to run this 
now hide data is transformed to date data type when we actually use d types again it will actually say object only but the values are transformed into the format which we have specified uh, you can uh, review the data and then you can take it forward now let me say head now if you look at the dates the dates are like this originally when it comes to the data frame the dates are like this so the dates are transformed from this format to the four digit year followed by two digit month followed by two digit date all these three are separated by hyphen now we should be able to run this code without any issues here i am using the code with exception handling the code without exception handling also will work however having exception handling like this will help us to troubleshoot issues much faster way now let's run this you can see it is successful we should be able to go to our postgres database let me make sure i close this first let me right click and then let me say count rows you can see it is saying table rows counted the count is nothing but 22 let me close this now let me right click and then let me go to view or edit data then click on all rows uh, you should be able to even preview the data without any challenges all 22 rows are displayed here you can see the dates are as per the expectations in high date and remaining columns also have the data as per the expectations this is how you should be able to use pandas to read the data from csv file apply required transformations and write the data into target database table i have demonstrated using sales reps data you can also use sales data and write to the respective table as an exercise Keep in mind the demonstration is based on CSV file as source and Postgres database table as target. You can switch to any other file format as source and you can switch to any other database as target.